Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Omani Deputy Prime Minister for Council of Ministers, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. They exchanged greetings, marking the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two brotherly countries and peoples as well as the Arab and Islamic nations with progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday received the United States Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sabrell, and the Commander of the Fifth Fleet, Combined Maritime Forces Vice Admiral James Malloy at Trafa Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the United States is based on trust, mutual respect, and a shared commitment to global security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that the kingdom will remain a steadfast partner in maintaining regional security, defeating terrorism and combating extremism alongside its allies. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that Bahrain will continue to enhance its bilateral cooperation with the United States across various fields, particularly defense collaboration. The meeting also provided an opportunity to review regional and international developments. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Bahrain Defense Force Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagr Al Naimi, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday evening visited the Majlis of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the Majlis of the late Abdullah Ahmad Nas. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince uh, received or stressed uh, the Kingdom's commitment to upholding the values of pluralism, and coexistence and moderation in line with the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. In this regard, His Royal Highness outlined the Kingdom's leading role in uh, spearheading a wide range of initiatives that foster coexistence and peace, including promoting interfaith dialogue. His Royal Highness pointed out uh, that uh, the Kingdom will continue to advance these uh, fundamental efforts with the firm conviction that they are the cornerstone of an advanced society. For their part, the Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness during His Majlis's visits.
The government of Bahrain today announced the latest update to the 10 billion US dollar financial support agreement signed between the government of Bahrain and the governments of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait. The Ministry of Finance and National Economy confirmed that the first installment had been received in full and that receipt of the second installment has already started. Under the agreement, 2.292 billion US dollars have been received for 2018 and a further 2. 276 US billion US dollars will be received for 2019. The financial support agreement funds a substantial part of the financing needs of Bahrain's physical balance program, a comprehensive plan put in place last year by the kingdom, which has already led to the deficit falling by over a third. A minister of finance spokesperson also confirmed that as part of the support agreement, the government of Bahrain is set to receive further payments of 1.761 billion US dollars in 2020, 1.846 billion US dollars in 2020. 2021, 1.421 billion US dollars in 2022, and 650 million US dollars in 2023. The spokesperson added that the government successfully passed its national budget through the elected chambers of parliament. As part of the budget process, the government reconfirmed its commitment to subsidy reform and that it would be implemented in coordination with parliament. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa al Khalifa, said that the parliamentary vote on the national budget is a further positive step in the significant progress we are making, adding that the deficit is down over a third and annual GDP growth remains robust. He noted that Bahrain is demonstrating its commitment to delivering strong, sustainable economic growth through swift implementation of the physical balance program and welcomed the ongoing support from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and the State of Kuwait. The opening of the Wait exhibition organized by Bahrain Art Bab for a number of Bahraini artists in the Modern Museum in Venice, Italy, witnessed a notable turnout and participation from the attendees who expressed admiration for the Bahraini artist's remarkable creativity. The importance of the exhibition coincides with the artistic movement in Venice, which attracts thousands of visitors and tourists annually. The presence of the Bahraini artists in the city is an opportunity to express the kingdom's interest in artistic movements. The exhibition displayed the works of over 20 Bahraini artists. This exhibition called The Wait is a part of our international artist program which is in its third year currently. We began the artist program in 2016. Um, it is a very important exhibition for us because what we bring to Venice is the essence of Bahrain. Uh, if you look around you, um, it's a very um, expressionist um, communication of who we are and our senses. Uh, the the title, the weight, as conceived by uh, Amal Khalaf, our one of our curators, is about uh, the relationship of uh, Bahrain and uh, Bahrainis to the sea. Uh, our title, uh, our, our title painting, uh, the way it is, a, is a work by the late Nasser Yusuf, uh, and what you see on my right is an install, uh, is an installation of his drawings, and um, it's about the fishermen who wait at sea for the boats to come, and then as they sail away.